watched the game just like everybody else and had an opportunity. Watched the video. I, you know, like I said, we're playing an SEC team, the top 25 team. I don't know what the rankings came out today, but uh, uh, that's, that's the team we saw last week. Uh, fast, athletic, uh, good offensive line. Guys in the, on, the, in, on defense that can run, an excellent kicker. Uh, you know, so uh, from, from our standpoint, you know, knowing both coaches, both knowing, you know, Will in his days of his aggressiveness on defense and, and, and knowing Brent Peace for a long time, you know, for me, they were extremely vanilla in their approach. I think uh, Coach Muschamp talked about that, wanting to be able to run the ball and throw play action off that and get explosives, and they did that. And so I think it was a way for them to evaluate their, their program and their players, and, and they won the game. And, uh, so for, for us, it was really a, 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 uh, a chance to just look at talent level. And, uh, and because you know, I think, uh, just like he said and I said right after the game, you know, they didn't show very much as far as team. How do you handle that when you're sitting there watching Florida work out all this opening day kinks and jitters and things like that, knowing your team? We wouldn't have, we wouldn't have handled it any differently a week before when we played with Louisiana Tech. So we wouldn't have been able to watch them play. Does that make sense? Well, I, you know, this is our I'm first game. Them, right. But yeah. Florida's had the opportunity to kind of work out yeah. those jitters and things. Is that a little frustrating or you just no. don't do anything about it? You, you can't worry about that. We can't change what happened last week, and it's how you approach it. And, uh, you know, there's positives and negatives to both. I think any coach would tell you that. But they've gotten some first game jitters out of the way. Uh, that being said, you know, the same questions are asked. Well, how, you, how is your quarterback going to handle opening uh, at home against an SEC opponent, uh, game day here, and all that other stuff? The same questions would have been, how is he going to handle opening on the road? So whatever happens, it's the first game, and, and how you handle it, uh, it varies from week to week. Yeah, so we can't we can't do anything about what happened the week before. We just have been dealt with a new set of circumstances, for which you know we we, we prepare for. It. And like I said, for a lot of people, for us as a coaching staff, you know the challenge will be we don't know how guys are going to react in, in certain circumstances. We haven't been around this team, so that that will be the interesting part of the game, particularly. Has because there's adversity in every football game. And the only way to, to know how that's how guys are going to act and how to, how to kind of move through that is to see them in those situations. You try to put them in that as much as you can, but from a uh, practice standpoint to a game standpoint, they're two different things. The intensity level, the speed, uh, the consequences of a mistake in a game are completely different than practice. And so the only way to gain that kind of experience is to play. Kevin, for, for, the, for the players, the, the, there's a lot of positive aspects to the harnessing that first game in, uh, energy as well. That's right. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. So, you know, there's positives and negatives to both. Uh, but it's how you look at it. And for some guys, it'll be positive. For some guys, it won't be. It's just how it is. Everybody's not going to be the same uh, coming into this football game because we do have guys who have not played in a college football game going out there. I think somebody asked me last week about, I'm surprised I don't get the same question about going on the road and starting the quarterback. You know, you know we're at home. So, uh, you know, there's, there's still a lot more positives about playing at home than there are any time we're talking about playing on the road. For you personally, as a competitive guy, was it hard to sit there Saturday and see all these teams playing and not have that opportunity? Though? No, it was harder Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday of last week. 28 or 29 practices and, and you know within 24 hours of getting on a plane to go to Shreveport and, and being told you know and, and that was hard and the practice wasn't any good our coaches were down right before we went out to practice to, to really the last real practice here in the stadium before we left to go to Shreveport the next day you know that, that wasn't very good for anybody it's hard for the players to be any good when the coaches aren't very good and, and I understood that I wasn't very good that day and all we did was tell them, all right, we'll put that on the shelf. We'll come back and visit that about October 6th or so, and then you guys go home. And, and tomorrow, you know, we're moving on the floor. And, and that's all we could do with that. And, and uh, uh, you know, try to create a new energy based on our new opponent. And that's 
some one of the reasons we, we just moved on and, and uh, uh, kind of used it as, as creating some sort of new energy instead of just uh, just practicing uh, you know six or seven more times for another game. Is that when you is that a little bit of a disadvantage for Florida if they didn't get to see you play and you got a new quarterback you just new coaching the question that these guys have. Okay, but. What I'm, what I'm asking, I mean, so I want to get to the must champ point. Does that help him that he's played against an air raid? Does that give him any kind of advantage? You don't have to ask Will that. Can you talk about the development? Can you talk about the development of your young quarterback throughout camp and what's impressed you most about how he's grown? Yeah, I think he, uh, you know, like I said, you know, we had a, a, a battle early. I don't think it's, it's changed uh, very much from uh, what I said a week ago. Starting two or three weeks ago, is because he's earned the right to start. We gave him that with two weeks uh, to go, just to, so he could get more reps as the starter of the team, to feel comfortable with him, to feel good in the leadership role. I think he's continued to progress, uh, but he's a young guy, and uh, you know, as I've said before, you know, it, when, whenever your experience is not about age, you can you can have a young guy that, that's playing. Or you can have a third, fourth, or fifth year senior that's, that's just because I think people keep that confused, that just because he's a junior or senior, it hasn't played a game either. And until you're in a game, as I said before, the game speed, uh, the intensity level, and, and what a mistake actually means, that's where your experience comes from. So to me, it's not about age, it's about experience. He's, he's an inexperienced player. And with because of that, um, the, the surrounding cast of our offensive line, our, our running backs, and our, our, our skilled people on the perimeter who have experience uh, have to have to play well and, and create a quarterback-friendly atmosphere for them, so that uh, you know take the pressure off them. And fortunately, we've got experienced players in those positions.